Beaver sent me a variac, and I filmed this entire video thinking that it was like a $160, $180 tool. It's, you can get them for like 60 bucks. They, they do deals and stuff. I can't believe it. I'm, this entire th time I was evaluating it like it was a pricey thing, but these, they're so cheap now. It's amazing, and they're actually pretty good quality. I am actually blown away. You can get one for like 40 bucks. That's, that's a really good deal. I, so this video, I was kind of evaluating it a little harsher, um, but I guess we're in that era where you, you can't get anything below a certain quality. Everything has a nice quality to it. I'm really kind of floored by that. Okay, here's the video. So anytime Beaver offers to send me something, I'm not going to turn down something for free. And uh, last week they offered to send me a Variac. Well, okay. Oh, the spare fuses. I could I could definitely use a, a free variac in my lair. Oh, it's so big. Whoa, I didn't realize it was gonna be such a big one. I've only had two variacs in my life. Actually, no, three. Two of them didn't have housings and I never used them. Third one was what I bought back when I worked at Apple. It was an old, old one. It was kind of tiny, honestly. It was like only like 50 watts. We used it for a, a project. And I never saw what happened to that. I got that at Halted Electronics. But, uh, look at that. Let's get this out on a tray. Hey, doesn't this look like the outline of a big hard drive? I love it. Oh, <laughs> Wow. Okay, so I want to try to see if that LED light that I have in the back is dimmable or not. It is, look at that. It's just a light bulb and a 1920s light fixture. Just an LED light. It uses about four watts of power. But yeah, look at that. Well, that's weird. I'm, I'm leaving it running and I'm hearing pops and ticks from it. There we go. It might be that as it's heating up, maybe the insulation is moving or the tape inside of it's moving. I don't know. I'm going to see if that dies down. Do you wish, do you wish uh -huh. to experience the light bulbs glowing? Get your favorite light bulbs. Get, uh -huh. get them. We'll get them. We'll turn this one down. The LED one kind of turns down a little weird. How about this one? Though? Yeah. Oh, yeah, your Ikea one or whatever. Yeah, I got it from Amazon. Okay, yeah, yeah, put it on, put it on. It, it's off. I should have probably shut that properly. That's fine. Ooh, they got a little warm. Even hey, though it's not... really? Ooh, yeah. Let me get it. You know what? Careful down here because it got, it's pretty warm, like that time. Um... Uh huh. Okay, well, I'm just going to put that on stone. Yeah, put that on there. Yeah. Remember, don't touch the bottom because it's live wires. <laughs> yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. But I'm not joking, it is live. I know. Ooh, look at that. So this is why I like incandescent bulbs. All right, 25 volts. We recently found a radio in the trash, and I figure we'll do that as a final bit. Oh, that looks nice. Ooh. Yes. Don't I have a cylindrical light bulb? That I found in a piece of furniture. You 
What do you think about that? Okay. Oh, this might be busted. Uh oh. Hey, how about this one? This is the one made in Mexico. Phillips, I believe. 1960s that I actually repaired. <laughs> It's rare. This is the second light bulb I repaired. I repaired. I repaired this one. Yeah, you did. The grounding pin, or neutral, whatever fails. Doing that already sixty volts. That is just amazingly bright. Yeah. And now we have our most valuable light bulb, a 1930s Mazda lamp, an actual authentic one. It still works. We actually use this for an entire year. Had it running on a dimmer. That's basically like a Variac, but it's just a dimmer. And we still run it. Oh, wouldn't that be such a shame? It'd be so sad if we had it all cranked up to the other side and blew it. It's been there for 100 years. Look at that. I think, uh, let's see, 50 is about as high, high as I'll go. Yeah. But, uh, I like how it looks. It, this is about 38, 38 volts. That's pretty nice. Pan over so you can see the whole shot. Yeah. It's so nice. I like that. That, that lamp is, you know, if I had a lamp from the 1800s, I would, I would, I would burn it. I'd go too. But, oh, this feels so nice. You know, this is something that a hundred years from now, people aren't going to be doing this. They aren't going to have a 1930s bulb that they're just going up and down with a variac with. That'll be really rare. Even now, it's pretty rare. Look, look how faintly it's glowing. I didn't go enough to really even warm it up. And back in the display case it goes. I just love how we have all these light bulbs ready to go. Just Incidentally, we have 20 light bulbs in the event that we get one of these. Oh my god, you got yeah, another one. We have uh, pretty much every single type that we need. <laughs> need. <laughs> Lighting is one of the miracles of the modern world. Now I'm curious how these, I think they're halogen. Oh, there you do. Okay. Mercury vapor, I, I can't remember, recall how they are. Okay, so they don't actually don't need like a starting. And these ones I don't really care too much about, but uh, I probably should because incandescent bulbs are going by the wayside anyway. With them. Oh, this is so fun! This is the, the best toy for any light bulb aficionado. It's, it's not even summer and it's so hot out. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot. So I figured to wrap up this video, let's use this to do a soft start on this radio that I found in the trash recently. All right.
AP back in 2023 during her college day. CD for civil defense? Might be. They assign jobs to save for their children's secondary education. Think of saving for college like another monthly bill. Too bad. Pretty good. Well, guys, that'll go on my new shelf that I have for tools and supplies. And thank you very much, Reviva, for sending me that. Now, unfortunately, it's so hot, I have to call it there. I have to go home, turn on the air conditioning, and get out of here. It's going to be like 100 next week for most days, and I'm not going to be able to stand that. No. I know it's not really hot to a lot of other people, but I just, I get so sick feeling from the heat. I'm starting to think maybe I wasn't sick the other time. Maybe I just not like viral sick but I just you know I'm feeling weird again from the heat and I need I need to get out of here I just need to get out of here so thank you very much Beaver for sending me that sorry I'm not really I mean I'm the summer is kind of not very useful for me because nowhere has air conditioning and everything I do I can't get 
can't get away from the heat but that'll be very useful in the future and i'm glad that radio worked i'm really glad that radio worked i might have to go home and take a cold shower because i feel like i'm gonna vomit and it's only like what 86 degrees something like that it's not even 90. i've already somehow messed myself up this year with like uh, my heat sensitivity because i did too much already hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and stay cool see ya